Hello everybody, welcome to this week's episode. I'm Cam Reporter with Robin Hood Studios. We are going to do part two of our three-part series talking about camera exposure. Part one was all about shutter speed. Part two is all about ISO. What is ISO and how does it affect your image? ISO affects your image in two ways, but to understand that we have to understand what ISO is doing to the sensor. So increasing and decreasing ISO, what that does to your camera sensor is it just makes it more sensitive. It increases its sensitivity to light. So when you increase your ISO, the image gets brighter, obviously because the pixels, the photo sites are getting more sensitive to light. When you decrease the ISO, the image gets darker. So most cameras have what they call a native ISO, which is uh, as they were developing the camera, as they were engineering the camera, they had a set ISO, a set sensitivity for that sensor that they optimized for. That's all that native ISO means, okay? So if you want to make your image brighter or you want to make it darker, a great way to go can be adjusting your ISO. However, ISO also affects your image in another way. It introduces noise. So because those photo sites are getting more sensitive to light, they're also getting more sensitive to the very, very subtle, minute uh, variations in that light. So if you have something that is not lit very well, there's only some light hitting it, so you boost your ISO so that you can see it in the camera and actually see what's going on, you'll notice a lot of noise can start to pop up. And that is because, especially in low light situations, you just don't have consistent enough light. It's, it's causing those little tiny variations and causing that noise. So we want to show you what this looks like. So first, we're going to take it, we're right now we're at, uh, not this camera's native, native ISO, but close. What we're going to do is we're going to drop the ISO. So we're going to bring the ISO down uh, just while we're recording here so you may hear some clicks as the settings are adjusted mid-shot. Normally you wouldn't do this, but we're going to do it for demonstration purposes. So we're going to bring the ISO from where it is now down to ISO 200. So hopefully you saw the image just got darker. The image got a little bit darker uh, and honestly, it, other than that, it looks probably very similar because the jump that we just made in ISO is not significant. We weren't high enough to be introducing any noise and we weren't I mean, going low on ISO, I mean, maybe somebody else more expert than I could tell you the negative effects of going too low on your ISO. I've never noticed. I've never noticed any negative effects from doing so. But uh, now we're going to go from, we're actually at 200 ISO now, and we're going to pump it all the way up uh, to, where, to where we're going to see some noise in the image. So we're doing that now. Again, you may hear some clicks. But what we want to show you is the drastic difference between ISO levels, how much brighter you can get your image, but also we want to show you that, you're, that you can be introducing some noise when you increase your ISO too far. And you don't really know how far you can increase your ISO on your specific camera until you test it. I mean, you can find YouTube videos, other people have tested, most common cameras are tested pretty thoroughly by various YouTubers. So you could probably find a good hint, but really you just got to get your camera and just test it yourself. So hopefully now you're seeing some noise in the image and this is because the ISO is simply too high. And that's what happens when you boost your ISO. So if you need to brighten your image, uh, and you're as high up as you can go on ISO without introducing any noise, you need to find a different way to make it brighter. And we talked about shutter speed last time, and we'll be talking about the aperture next week. So those are two other options that you have to either brighten or darken your image. So that's all about ISO. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. We'll do our best to respond to them. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week.